traction and turn. No weird fear. finishing his car up in his uh, garage over the last couple months. A little bit of a break with his uh, COVID lockdown. And uh, a lot of these guys are running these little four-cylinder engines. A lot of testing to kind of get these things to run just the way they want them to. Uh, not an engine that's used in a lot of other places. As opposed to, like, say, an LS engine, there's all kinds of tunes for it. Anything you want to know, somebody's done. Some of these little four-cylinder engines are a little more, uh, you know, unbroken ground there. So, nice to see these guys all competing. We've got four of these cars out here. Jesse Haynes, um, Craig Allen, Cody Wagner, and uh, Ryan Maxfield all competing with the same basic chassis. All built by Jesse Haynes Fabrication. And of course, Jesse Haynes is uh, one of our competitors here. I am sure changed his position. Going into today's competition, he came in in third place with a negative 172. 12 points behind uh, first and only one point ahead of fourth place, Caleb Redden and Trevor Rich. So I'm pretty excited to see how things shake out. Uh, a lot of uh, switching around here in the, in the top five unlimited cars. Again, they will be competing on that, that shootout course for an additional $500 provided by Crawler TV. Pretty cool. Nine tone Nate kicking some rocks under the back of Ryan's car trying to get him to pivot. And Nick Melby heading down into the ravine. Got to watch out for a huge boulder that's about to grab his front axle. But having a pretty good day so far right now. Huh? Nick Melby stuffed into that crack off the jumbo uh, truck behind us. Trying to get light up that bonus line. Hopefully that's the detail. Pretty good thing. Everybody's having a good day out here. It's been a lot of good driving. All you see is the people making the face in a good long way. And that changes things, puts the pressure on. Uh, a lot of people get an opportunity there to get excited to step up. And uh, it's really hard to overcome. Making a mistake you didn't want to make at that, having a bad hop, whatever, it gets inside your head, and you got to fight against that, and you go back in the game and uh, focus. And it's a lot of fun watching these guys work their way through some of this stuff. Right now we're watching Ryan Maxfield climb up that pretty abrupt climb right there with those rear tires. We're having the BFG Crawler tire, one of the original rock crawling only tires that are uh, not really suitable at all for road use. Very soft, sticky tread. It wears away pretty fast on the rock, or on the asphalt. Nick Melby picking his way down through that ravine to get a good shot of the back of his car as it drops down. From some of those uh, very distinctive RCB backbones that use uh, a little bit of a different joint design in there than your average U joint pretty strong at a little bit more angle than uh, your average cross safety you joint. Ryan Maxfield make his way over the cross to the far side for eight more. You see how these guys do?
include that, right? Look like a pretty clean run for these guys as they're getting through all these courses. 